So I'm just about to embark on a journey to North Ladeg near Oban in Scotland. Weather's not looking too bad actually, surprisingly. Um, thought I'd show you the van before we set off. So at the entrance we've got a little kitchen unit here. This all turns into a bed. Storage, bathroom, more storage in a very cosy bed area with a TV, more storage. When we get parked up there's a nice view usually from out these windows when you first wake up. Anyway, need to set off while it's still early. I'll uh, report back in when we're closer to our destination and we get some scenic views. So we're just driving through Loch Lomond right now and I just wanted to show you some of these views that we have. Wait for the trees to clear and you'll see some more of that. Beautiful. See what the view's like from the side window. Over there, if you can see it. Ah, trees again. I want to show you. Ben Lomond, the highest hill over on that range over there. Let's see if we can Maybe you can see it just ah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you show you this view. Stunning. And soon we'll be coming up to a hydroelectric uh, power plant that I have family ties to. Luxloy Hydroelectric Scheme, which opened up in 1950 and shortly after then my great-grandfather worked there as a foreman So I will show you that when we come up to it in probably around 20 minutes time That is the Sloy power station and my great-grandfather used to work as a foreman as I just mentioned Just driving past Lockhaw now. About 30 minutes, maybe less, from the campsite where we'll be staying and pitching up. So we've been driving just over two hours. Didn't feel like it though because as you've seen there's some amazing scenery. It doesn't feel like a chore when there's so much beautiful things to see along the way. Take the next left onto A828. This is the Oyster Inn. My uncle was just telling me that the last time he uh, visited the Oyster Inn, Continue just emphasising the name Oyster Inn. Inn he was told, sorry, there are no oysters. They just walked six miles. How does that happen? They taste oysters. Yeah, they just walked six them. miles to taste oysters, which he was confident would be in supply at the Oyster Inn. And he was told there weren't any. I mean, that's one thing that's unforgivable when you've named your restaurant after that very ingredient. Anyway, we're about... Five minutes, five minutes. About three, three minutes actually. Uh, three minutes away uh, from our destination where we're gonna pitch up the van. So smooth drive, no problems. Um, beautiful day. Beautiful day, yeah. I mean the weather for Scotland in October, I mean this is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Really enjoying the weather. This is it. Home for the next couple of nights. Your destination is on the left. The North Ledig Caravan Park. 
nice. Well, Kevin's just gone inside the office to sort out a pitch for us. Thought I'd show you some of the supplies we've got for the evening. So, inside the fridge, we have beer, obviously. They're very essential for a lad's trip. We have some more beer. Steaks. Haggis. Rosé veal, sirloin steak to split. And we've got some greens and whatever, but that's not as interesting. The ball, a single malt. So we've been giving our pitch by the warden. Really good pitch. Quite close to all the local amenities, the toilets, the taps, everything like that. Excellent view. So anyway, while well, he's just getting some bits sorted in the van, I'm here to fill up the watering can a few times to fill up the van. You know, for flushing water and tap water and things. Yeah, I'm impressed with the campsite. It's a little bit cold now. Probably layer up a little bit more. It's a big coat and it's, it's still feeling a little, a little bit of the chill, but we're in the Scottish countryside. What do I expect? Well, with the van all sorted, I think it's holiday time, which always commences with a beer. It's not holiday until you've had a beer. So we just walked about a mile to um, the Loch Nell Hotel and um, had a few pints of uh, Caledonia Best and returned. We are going to cook the steaks, but we made a little bit of a hiccup. We completely forgot to take them out of the fridge. So we're going to have to let them warm up a little room yeah, and come up to room temperature, which we intended to do while we were already out for a while. So there they are. We'll just have to have a glass of wine in the meantime. Maybe. Yeah, disaster, mm -hmm. disaster. We're going to have to drink some more. Yeah. Terrible. So steaks were a success, but I left my uh, camera on and the battery died, so I'm filming this on my phone. Hence the drastic change in quality. Anyway, this is just a sign off for the first day. Uh, mostly spent travelling, drinking, eating and taking in a few sights. Tomorrow we will properly venture into Auburn. Uh, try their famous seafood and have a look at some of the historic sites. For now, I'm going to finish off this wine. Have another couple of beers, go to bed, a long day ahead of us. See you night soon. Night, night, night. Good morning from North Ledig Beach. Just going for a nice scenic stroll and back for breakfast before we set our sights for urban and seafood feast which I'm most looking forward to. How many incidents of people rolling into the toilet block in roller skates did there have to be before they put that notice up. 
first obstacle I'm getting to open is making sense of this confusing bus timetable. It seems to be different to the one that we found online. We're just hoping for the best with the van stationed at the campsite. Public transport is our only real option. It should be one coming in a few minutes, but I don't really know. I mean, that is just a mess to try and navigate. So, yeah. Great for one to show up. I wish the little showed up moments after I finished recording the last bit. Logan Airport, quite possibly the smallest I've ever seen. I'm assuming that's mostly just for hobby flights and tours of the local islands rather than any connecting flights to major airports. Just arrived in Auburn. Uh, it's near the off pier right now. On our way to go check out the ferry terminal that we'll be leaving from to get to the Isle of Mull. Not before, of course, we visit the famous Green Shack for some much anticipated seafood. Over there in the distance. Pearl Open Hotel, it's where my auntie used to work many years ago. So yeah, I have quite a lot of familial links to this area. So we've just been inside the terminal to get our tickets in advance. Turns out that there is a very convenient ferry at 12.25 that will meet the bus that will take us from the terminal on the Isle of Mull to Tobermory, which uh, is where we want to be going. Gives us plenty of time to sample some world famous Scottish seafood right here at the iconic Green Shack. Seafood platter for two, grand platter. Prawns. That sounds good, it includes the whole lobster. <laughs> Going for the grand platter, which apparently includes a whole lobster, so that should be good. Um, I'll have a can of that lemonade, please. Yeah, two cans of lemonade, thanks, Robert. Just a quick little history lesson for you while I'm waiting for my seafood. That prominent landmark you can see over there on the hill is called McCaig's Tower and it was built in 1897 uh, by John Stuart McCaig, a local banker whose aim was to build a monument that celebrated his family and also provide work for local stonemasons. He did put in his will instruction to erect statues of his family in the orchards but it was ignored and they were never put there. Uh, stands as it does today, looming over the, the top of the tower, uh, the top of the town, should I say. Anyway, hopefully my seafood platter will be ready really soon. Uh, £35 it costs and it comes with a whole lobster, which is great, because you can't get a whole lobster for £35 in a restaurant and that's just by itself. So, very excited. Wow. That is incredible. Look at all that gin 
Oh, she looks to me. <laughs> Got huge crab claws. Some sweet chilli, some bread, some upper webs. Oh, there's even a big salmon fillet in there too. Well, we're gonna enjoy this alone. See you after. We just landed on uh, the Isle of Mull by a ferry. I shall be um, boarding the bus to Tobermory instantly. Auburn, where we just came from, is known as the gateway to the Isles for the reason of its close proximity to various Scottish islands, including this one, quite possibly the most famous. trip. We have one hour in Tobermory. They see the bus coming, they can't just wait on the grass for one second. Cyclists, eh? Typical behaviour. This is going to be a long bus ride. Good news, on our way out of the Fishnish ferry terminal, we passed the cyclists going the other way, so we've managed to avoid them for the rest of the journey and it should hopefully go smoothly. I'm not sure if you can see that over the trees, but over in the horizon was um, Tobermory. It's been a long and bumpy road, littered with cyclists. 
Uh, the car's coming the opposite direction, but we're finally almost here. So here we are, in beautiful Tobermory. The weather's not actually as bad as I anticipated. And um, yeah, let's have a little look from the waterfront. Tobermory was a fishing port built in the 18th century and since then it's become the capital of the Isle of Mull. Most famously probably for my generation is that the children's TV show Balamori was filmed here. I'm sure you remember it with all the multicoloured houses and whatnot. Legend has it also that in these waters, one of the ill-fated Spanish Armada in 1588, sunken by the English Navy, is actually around here. In fact, the remains of one of the Armada have been destroyed from countless searches for the gold bullion that was rumoured to be on board. The gold, of course, was never found. Anyway, let's explore a little further. It's a beautiful little place. Still, it's very quaint, despite the number of tourists, myself included, littering the streets. It's still very rustic and charming feel to it. Pretty much seen just about everything now, so I'm going to find a bar, grab a drink, get out of the elements. The, the rain seems to be picking up a little bit and back on the bus to create new took a desperate turn for the worst just as we were leaving but we've now boarded the return ferry from Gregnier to Auburn. Once we get to Auburn we'll think about going for something to eat and having a few beers so that's me signing off for today. So although I said I was going to be signing off on the ferry when I arrived at Auburn I saw just how beautiful it was by night and I just wanted to show you guys as one final little bit of footage. Over there, the cage tower, lit up blue, all the lights in the streets, the bustle over there. The ferry we disembarked from, it really is a beautiful town. Anyway, that really is it for tonight from me. And perhaps for this whole video, maybe I'll include tomorrow's adventure, or maybe I'll make that a separate video but yeah, for now, I'm going to call it a night. See you later and thanks for watching. Ooh.